for data bi sql uh, in today's video i will be covering uh, 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 the question related to the user transactions table uh, so this table i have used in my previous video as well so if you are not already looked at the video please go and check it out uh, also uh, i'll be adding this video to the amazon sql interview questions uh, playlist so i'll just put a link on playlist as well uh so this is i this is a, a part 9 of that series so you can check out all my other uh, videos as well on this playlist so uh let's get uh, started and before we get started right uh, i just request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos that will give me a lot of encouragement to create this kind of videos uh also i will uh, put the ddl script right create table script and insert into data script for this uh a uh, table so that you guys can also practice the same way uh, that uh, you know i am uh, showing the queries uh, also the other feedback that i am getting from you guys is um, uh, can i write a query like this uh, can i write a query in different way definitely you can write the queries everybody has a different style of writing queries right uh, and and different query way of writing queries can yield the same result right uh, but just make sure that you don't uh, Uh, you don't uh, you know impact the performance when you are dealing with large set of data so here we are dealing with very small set of data so uh, different ways of writing query may not uh, may not uh, you know show you that much of performance gap but when you are dealing with like millions and millions and billions of rows of rows of data it definitely impacts the performance so just like i have covered another video called uh, uh, what performance uh, like you know sql performance issues related video which go and check out that video as well Uh, so uh, make sure you avoid sub queries wherever possible and just write common table expression right so things like that you need to take care but uh, i appreciate all the feedbacks you you guys are giving me uh, right i mean that way we all are learning together right uh, and then everybody can learn uh, different ways of writing queries so this is very interactive uh 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 sessions we have like you know uh, uh, through through comments so i really appreciate uh, uh you guys looking at my videos and then writing your own queries and then asking for suggestions so thank you very much for that let's get started with today's video so uh, the question is write a query that will identify returning users that have made a second purchase within for seven days of any other purchases right so what they are saying is basically uh if any of the user right who have done a purchase within 7 days right so then you should display that user id so for example if you see 103 he's done a purchase on 29 march and 31 march so there is two days gap right so uh, he should he should he should come up right so excuse me so and then if you see 108 108 is 12 5 and 18 3 right so it's basically a gap of uh, two months so it should not come up if 103 103 let's say you had one at 29 march one at 10th april that would have been a gap of more than 11 days uh, or 12 days it should not come right because they are saying that within 7 days if the person has come back just display that user name uh, user id uh, so you just uh, if you think from a retail company perspective right uh, let's say amazon or any other retail company or uh, if you think from a social media company perspective also uh, this is very important matter right very business valid business scenario uh, correct because you want your users to come back right i mean you don't want people to just come to once to the platform and then just go away and come back after a year right i mean that's not going to uh, help grow your revenue you want people to repeatedly come back to your platform purchase the items right that that's how you are going to grow the revenue so this is a valid valid scenario where they are asking that you know just show show me those which have who have were coming back you know within 7 days of the of the purchase right i mean they are doing a repeat purchase so uh, since uh, we have to uh, you know we have only one table and then they are asking to compare uh, the data between within the same table right so they are saying that uh, find out the users with, we are coming back uh, uh, based on the purchase date within 7 days so in, that should click in your mind that you know it's uh, basically a self join you need to self join because you have only one table you have to compare the data between two dates right so how are you going to do that uh, the only way you can do that is to the self join so here we will use the self join user transaction and user transaction and then we will uh, join based on the user id and then we'll say id not equal to id right i mean and and we need to use this clause if you have looked at looked at my other self join self join videos right i mean where you use self join we have used this clause and we'll i'll come back to that what happens right if you don't use this uh, join right this condition but just make sure that you use this condition right 
and then we'll say purchase date the gap between the purchase date the a minus b purchase date is between 0 and 7 right so between clause we have to use then order by so if you see this 103 is what already we saw and then 112 120 is there also there so let's say 112 makes sense or not right so if you see 112 23 and 24 right so it came back within a day's time right that's a valid scenario 122 if you see uh, three times right uh, two three and through two this is not uh, uh, this is a gap of one month but then if you see three seven and three six which is basically sixth march and seventh march which is basically gap of only one day so that's why it should come up so our answer is correct okay uh, <clears throat> if you see uh, here like let's say what happens when we don't use this clause right then what happens is it's not going to show you the correct result so what it is showing it is actually displaying all the users uh, so if you see there are 19 rows right so uh, how to see whether we it is displaying all the users we can do a distinct right distinct user underscore id so if you do that then what happens see 19 users so basically it is that the condition is not uh, basically uh, we need to put that condition if we don't put that condition then it's going to sh show the all the users which we don't want right so uh, just make sure to use this condition okay now the question is so if you look at the day format right uh, i just want to cover one other scenario right this is the same same uh, question but another scenario so if you see uh, let's say we need to do a star select star okay so Select star. If you see the date, purchase date is in a format where there is no hour, minute, second captured, right? So let's say if this was 2021, 3:18, 5 p.m., 12 minutes, 30 seconds, for example, right? So if that is the date format, then this query will not work because that you need to take care of the time format also. Here that's not the case, but just in case that's the case, what you need to do is you need to extract the date from that time. So you need to basically if you see the purchase date there is a command and then you are basically extracting the date from that so in that case in this is in this case it's showing the same date because there is no hour minute second right so but if there is hour minute second you need to use this so if you see in the where clause the query is same but you are basically using this clause right where purchase date and then you are doing this date minus u1 dot purchase date you can again connecting in date and in between 0 to 7 okay so just make sure to use this clause if you have a hour minute second okay so if you run this query it's going to give you the same result at the book query okay all right uh, so uh, that's it for today guys uh, thank you very much for a uh, lot of interaction uh, through the comments uh, uh, i'm really liking it that you know we are very having a very interactive uh, dialogue through the comment section and if there's anything else you, you want or you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. I'll reply to those uh, questions. Thank you very much, guys.